Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of South Bridge Street Live. I am very honored to introduce my next guest, Dr. Buddy Lee. He has been a family dentist here in Victoria for over 45 years. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I think the, one of the coolest things about Buddy, one is that he's just so darn friendly, and two, he is a um, incredible photographer. He has actually been a photographer since college. Mm -hmm. And we are here just to the last few days left of Impressions of Cuba, which is a beautiful, beautiful exhibit of his last visit to Cuba, which will, I guess, be hosted at the Nave until April the 23rd. Right. Wonderful. And of course, Jarrah's in there too. Yes. Dr. Hey, a shout out to my lovely friend Jara. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're a duo. You are a duo. a duo. That's yeah. right. That's right. So, okay. Yeah. So, why don't we start at the very beginning? Why don't we talk just about you? Okay. Um, and you tell me a little bit about becoming or the um, the desire to become a dentist. You know, I'm a third generation dentist. Yes. And um, growing up, we would go up to my dad's dental office, and I always remember the smell of that uh, base plate wax. Oh. They'd use a lot of it, but mm -hmm. it has a certain aroma to it. But we never talked about it. He never, he never really encouraged us to be dentists. You know, my brother, Mac Lee, is a dentist. Uh -huh. And I know some of you hear him on the TV. Yeah. He's, <laughs> and he writes an article for the Advocate, and he does a very, very good job. Oh, cool. Uh, so and he's two and a half years younger than me mm -hmm. and so uh, oh, he's just a pup yeah just a pup <laughs> and i i have no i mean i, I just always thought mm -hmm. i'd be a dentist and it's been it's been great because uh as it turns out i have a, a very creative side to me right and um uh, when you are, are doing a, a case for somebody Mm -hmm. uh, you you want to make sure that the function is right. Right. But the other part of it is you want to make it gorgeous mm -hmm. when you're through. So it has to be functional, but then it also has to be gorgeous. You know that Jerry Lee, I think, has probably one of the most beautiful smiles. There's and no question about it, and I will tell you from the get-go, uh, that is a God-given smile. <laughs> Yes. I had nothing to do with that <laughs> smile. So it's it's all hers. And it she, is and all she, hers. And you know, the more you use a smile, you, I mean, yep. you can't you can never give a smile away. Yes. Uh, yeah. you, you'll always have more. So uh, she she does that very well. Well, that's cool. And yeah. so, how long have the two of you been working in photography together? You know, <clears throat> when I first met her, she had a little. She she liked to do photography of her mm -hmm. kids, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, time went by and you know we got married and and uh, I don't know we just started taking pictures and then you know for about 15 or 20 years I shot sideline photographs mm -hmm. for Victoria High School oh you did oh yeah for sports and uh, uh, we would shoot for the parents club you know parents club and it, but that's back in the day of film we'd take mm -hmm. that film to Korchinski's and good God we'd have 12 rolls of film, you know, and we'd lay those things out at mm -hmm. the, at the uh, parents' uh, meeting in, uh, on Monday night, and they'd look through it and get some. But, and then it went to digital, and then, and then of course, uh, the school split, and that's when I said that's probably enough. But in the interim, uh, Jarrah started taking pictures with me on the sideline. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and she... she <laughs> I call her an <laughs> unconscious shooter because, uh -huh. you know, she likes to visit. And she'd be visiting with somebody <laughs> on the sideline, and then uh -huh. there'd be this incredible play out there, and she'd just go, bam. It's kind of like, I mean, I'm sitting there, I'm studying every uh -huh. move, you know, and she just goes, bam. And, and she gets, gets this it? incredible shot. Oh, that's awesome. And then starts talking back again, you know. <laughs> so, but anyway, so. We've just started. We just started taking mm -hmm. pictures, and and uh, uh, I don't know. It's 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 just intensified, and now it's kind of like it's it's an appendage that camera. Sure. You know, it's what always do you look us. for when you're thinking about taking a photograph? What are you looking for? What is your desire when you're looking through the lens? Well, I'm looking for I'm looking for the ordinary 
doing the extraordinary. Mm -hmm. That's what I look for. I mean, every you know, like uh, uh, shooting bird pictures. Well, I mean, there's a white egret in you know mm -hmm. in the marsh and all that. That's there's nothing special about that. Be careful now because you know Cheryl is our dear now, friend. I know, I know. <laughs> She's my bird nerd. But but it's it's <laughs> it's an evolution. Yes. You get into an evolution and yes. you start. What what you start looking for is uh, gesture right. in photographs. Yes. And uh, you, you you don't want to see somebody just sitting here like this. You want to see mm -hmm. see them gesturing because mm -hmm. it it brings out a part part of their personality. So it also brings out a personality in the in the bird or mm -hmm. or. Right. Or, or a raccoon or whatever. Yes. Yeah. And so, th that's what I, I I I like to look for, the ordinary that we mm -hmm. see all the time doing, the extraordinary. There are things happening down in Rockport where mm -hmm. we like to mm -hmm. spend a lot of time, that people don't even see. Give me an they example. They drive right by it. They never see it. Uh, you have to slow down and you mm -hmm. just have to observe. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I've got pictures of these this uh, snowy egret mm -hmm. that uh, uh, is there's shrimp. He's he's fishing for shrimp, and when he hits that water, he turns his head a certain way, and it creates this vacuum. Mm -hmm. And so the water can, you've seen the pictures of a drop in a drop into milk and yes, it pops yes. back up. Yep, time well, lapse. That's that's. It's kind of the same thing, but this when it comes back up, think about it, it's pulling stuff up this mm -hmm. way. And so if that shrimp is down there, it's pulling them pulling up, up like yeah. that, and his, that beak is right in the middle of that thing, and he nails it. Are you passionate about nature photography? I'm passionate about any kind of photography. photography. Yeah. yeah, I love, I love sports. Mm -hmm. I Still, love, even after all these years? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I, I, rugby, I mean, the emotion rugby. I mean, rugby is really yeah cool <laughs> there's a lot of expression in there, rugby. <laughs> I, and I mean it is brutal it's crazy those people are uh -huh. crazy uh, but uh, yeah I, 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 mm -hmm. I love action uh, cutting horses roping mm -hmm. I, it doesn't matter something moving mm -hmm. I like to try to stop it you know right. or, and, and get that and get that gesture in there mm -hmm. um, and people right you know you can take pictures of people mm -hmm. uh, but you you want to try to, to get that that uh, gesture and and my goal is to try to get the essence uh, mm -hmm. pull, pull an emotion out of somebody that and, and some people are really really good at it mm -hmm. and I want to get better at it you want to get better at it well, sure. as a photographer oh, you, yeah. you still you're have never lots there. to learn you're, you're never, never there you're never there Wow, that's incredible. In in two weeks, Jerry and I are going to go to Los Angeles uh -huh. to take this course with Greg Gorman. Oh, wow. And uh, it's going to be, it's his initial mm -hmm. uh, workshop. He has workshops all over the world. Mm -hmm. But he, this is an initial workshop at his home in, in, in Beverly Hills. Wow. So there's going to be just six photographers. Mm -hmm. and. Wow. Uh, that's incredible. Yeah, and Jared and I are going to be two. So of them. cool. It, it, it You're is two of the six. Two of the six. Oh my gosh! And it's this guy, you know, he he pulls, he pulls world class shooters from all over the place. So mm -hmm. who knows who we're going to be? But you're going to learn. We're, I'm going to learn. Oh, I think I'm that's amazing. And this, he is. I mean, he's an iconic uh, mm -hmm. Hollywood photographer kind of guy, mm -hmm. and he's 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 written a lot of books, done a lot of books. He's very good. Is there a specific genre of photography that you enjoy the most? Because your travel photography has just been amazing. You know, I go to, I go over to, mm -hmm. on Mondays and Fridays, I go to the ranch. Uh -huh. And I, I, I have my cowboy hat on. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I have my dental hat on. <laughs> but when I go to the ranch and I'm just riding around, I have my camera with me. Mm -hmm. And I'll see a calf doing something, or mm -hmm. uh, I've got some really good calves that I'm enjoying watching, heifer calves that I'll save back, mm -hmm. put, my, put in the herd. And I enjoy doing that just as much as 
Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just yes, I just like I see taking what you're a, saying. taking a good picture. Is there any particular lens that you enjoy the most? <clears throat> well, the lens that I used to enjoy the most is mm -hmm. a 70 to 200. Mhm. Mm and a 2.8. Mm -hmm. And so when we went to Cuba, um, this guy we go with, he says, now, we're, it's all about street shooting. Mm -hmm. You're shooting people in the street. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> he said, now, you're going you're gonna to want to use a long lens to reach out there and mm -hmm. you see something, but you don't want to get close to it. Mm -hmm. He said, we're not going to do that. We're going to use uh, uh, huh. a 20, let's see, what have I got? 20 to se 28 to 70, I think, 28 to 70, 2.8. Mm -hmm. And he says, if you don't, you'll feel the resonant finger in, in your back pushing you to get you closer. Mm -hmm. He said, I want you really, really close. And so, I mean, when it's over with, you're just right on top of people. Wow. And, and then the interesting thing he said was, I'm going to ask you how many photographs you took of that child. And you're probably going to say, I took eight mm -hmm. or ten. He said, I may take 300. And tell me again, because I missed it, who is the he? Lauren Resnick Lauren is the fellow we Resnick. went down okay. to Cuba with. So right. We've learned. I've learned a lot from him. And is he a photographer? Oh yeah. Yes. He's, okay. He's got this book called uh, Cuba. Uh, exactly so. Oh wow! How uh, did you this, two meet? No, Cuba. This moment exactly so. Oh it wow! It is an incredible book. This moment exactly so. Mm -hmm. That's it's like, very. That's yes. all you have. You know, right. Yes. Right now. Right here. Right now. That's it. Uh, how we met was uh, I, I, I'd get these uh, blurbs, emails from Adobe. Mm -hmm. You know, they have Lightroom, right. Photoshop, all right. that. A real creative place. But I'd get these uh, emails, and it'd tell about they're going to be in Austin, a little dog and pony mm -hmm. show there, Houston, whatever. And then it'd get down to the bottom, and it'd say, uh, travel to Cuba. This, I first saw this in like 08, right. maybe. And so I looked at that and I thought, travel to Cuba. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Because we couldn't, you know. Right, exactly. Go. So um, it's it, you more you read about it, say, go with Lauren Resnick. And he was the, he won the travel photographer of the year in such and such year. I'm, right. I'm not sure what. Very accomplished guy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, you know, got his name, went to his website, I'm looking through all this stuff, and it's kind of like, that, those pictures are so dang cool. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, man, I'd like to do that. But then I said to myself, now, wait a minute, there's no embassy down there. Right. What if you get caught? What if you do something wrong? Who's getting in jail? Can't okay, get wait, so is he taking these pictures? He's taking workshops down there. Right, He's right, taking... but I'm saying, is he, so tell me about getting caught. I mean, is he taking pictures? No, it's just what? fear for of your, my own For your mind. own fear, that's right. Okay, fear I understand. Fear in my own mind. Yes. This is all self-imposed. Right. Half his glass, you know, the uh -huh. glass is half full. Uh, so, or half empty. I gotcha. can't remember how that works. So, uh, both yeah, are both applicable. Works. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, um, then, you know, it'd go away. Yeah. And then six months later, Adobe mm -hmm. traveled to Cuba, Lauren Resnick. Wow. And he was some kind of a dope. He, he did mm -hmm. something for him. I don't know. But anyway, they were touting him. So, it came. 2012 and travel to Cuba, going to Santiago de Cuba mm -hmm. for a carnival, and I said, "That's it. This is it. Really? This is it. We have got to go do this." And so, I'm telling you, we loaded up and we flew to Miami. And he always has a little get together the uh -huh. night before in the hotel there by the airport, and. Uh, and off we took, and it's you know it's like going from Houston to Dallas, uh -huh. zip, zip, 
Right, Florida, and, Cuba. Yeah, just nothing to it. But yep. but uh, then to go from uh, Jose Marti mm -hmm. Airport over to Santiago, which mm -hmm. is on the southeast side of Cuba, uh, it took us 20 hours to get over there. Oh, wow. Because we got on Cuba time, mm -hmm. and it was slow go, <laughs> slow go. We're fixing to go? No, we're not. We're fixing to go? No, we're not. So this went on. This went on. And we got on this bus. I'm telling you, we didn't realize that airport was that big. but And this bus was huge. And we were on there just like sardines. Anyway, we got to Cuba. We got got over to not Santiago. They took us into Holguin. Flew us into Holguin. And we had to get on a bus and go drive two hours over to Santiago. So we get to Santiago at 4.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. and at 8.30, or 8 o'clock in the morning, we're, we're, sleep, we're in the Hotel Grand, the Grand mm -hmm. Hotel, right there on the square, at one of the squares. And about 8 o'clock the next morning, I start hearing conga drums. I mean... <laughs> conga drums? Conga drums, boy. I mean, here we go, and I, I, boy, I got up and I looked out the window. <laughs> People were gathered. So I jumped up, got dressed, and went downstairs just to see what was going on. And, uh, you know, everybody was, the day was starting, and, and here we go. And it was I mean, up? You were up with conga drums? Yeah. Wow. And, and just worn completely out. Yes. You know, because we've been up forever. Yep. And uh, uh, so <laughs> the people in Santiago, those little kids, little, little girls about that big, they can move their, when that mm -hmm. drum starts, they just, there's an action to it. They just got this action. <laughs> and they just, they just, it's just in, in every one of them. Sure. And that's, that's kind of a common thread right. between all Cubans yes. is that music. Really? Mm -hmm. Music. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I want to talk um, about just the, the people of Cuba. Mm -hmm. But I, so, but these are the things that I had to like kind of brush up on before I was going to visit with you, uh -huh. which is because, you know, the Cuban embargo and the missile crisis, that was 10 years before I was even born. Uh, I was through, I went through And that. so I was very surprised because I too, like you, once I knew that you were going to Cuba, um, was like, wow, I didn't realize that you could go. You know, I, I, unless it was maybe missionary work. Right. Or. Um, you go on workshops. Uh -huh. you, you could go for educational reasons. Right. That's right. That's what it was. Yeah. It was educational yeah. reasons. So that's. And Lauren has been going down there mm -hmm. for 20 years. Mm hmm And uh, in fact, the, uh, he um, proposed to his wife. Mm -hmm in the tower of El Moro uh, Fort, mm -hmm. the castle right there, when you're coming into Havana oh, Harbor. That's and so, and we've been up in that thing two or three times. And uh, Hey, this is completely off, well, it's related, but do you know Bob Allen, who's at Victoria College? He's yeah. An, he's an older gentleman yeah, that yeah, yeah. still develops yeah, all the history of film. His, his son-in-law his son was the coach here, uh -huh. Condra. He has these beautiful black and whites of Cuba, because mm -hmm. he'd been to Cuba before. Oh, is that right? But there's a beautiful black and white, I think of an elderly woman smoking a cigar. Mm -hmm. So I just wondered if you knew him. I do he... know him. Yeah, we shot sideline pictures. Oh, did you really? Yeah, you shot him together? Because Condra was his yes. uh, son-in-law. And... Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm so sorry. Okay, no, so, that's okay. It. That's so cool. go back. Yeah. That's cool. He's I a great like... guy. Yeah, he's a very he's cool guy. I think, I think that they might have the only actual you know lab still around victoria college uh-huh i donated all my stuff did to you victoria really college yeah i did oh. so it'd be if they still got that i mean i bet you they do i uh, mean i think it's larger the only dark room. and a bunch of stuff yeah do you mm. know any photographers are very many photographers in victoria that can still develop i mean i th i think i could but i don't oh i um, no i mean yeah. I, I, i'm sure there are but right. i we, that's, that that conversation has been you know yes. had been had a long time. Yeah, yeah. But I used to do it at my house, and I, I loved it. I loved to see that stuff yes. forming on that paper. The smell, yeah. like just the I don't yeah. know the process. It's just it was cool. just beautiful. Yeah. It was that a cool is. thing. I kind of that, I I miss that part. Yeah. Of digital, I think I was more dedicated to photography in some way, in some ways, because 
I knew I only had a very limited amount of opportunity to take a photo. Uh -huh. And then that element of surprise. You know, yeah. it's always beautiful yeah. to get your pictures I know, back. I know. I know. And I just yeah. do Instead all my printing. Instead of chipping after you take it. Yeah, yeah. for Kwiatkowski. Yeah. Like, yeah. I love, you know, Chief and his family. And so <clears> that's where right. I go. And it's always nice to open up the package. But mm -hmm. it was something completely different to watch it mm -hmm. develop. No, it is. It's magic. Yes. Yeah. It's magic. Anyway, I'm sorry. I got off track, but I just, I wanted to know if you knew Bob Allen. Because I did. Yeah. His photos, just his own personal photos around mm -hmm. the, you know, his dark room are of Cuba. And yeah, I haven't. Loved I, it. I, I hadn't seen that. I haven't seen his. But, I'll take you. Yeah, I'll take you and yeah. Jarris sometime That'd to be go. Great. We should go and visit yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's, so. he used to send me pictures that he'd take a, of us on the sidelines. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we'd that's have cool. A good time. Okay. I'm sorry. So yeah. back, so back to Cuba and the dance. That's where oh, we were. Oh, so, so then we, uh, you know, the, they have ki kid parades. Mm -hmm. Carnival is about different neighborhoods competing against one another. Really? Yeah. And, and so they have these big floats and I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it's like floats on an 18 wheeler. Wow. Built on an 18 wheeler. And then behind that, they've got this, this generator that's about as big as this room <laughs> to run all the lights and they'd hook it up to the back of it. Yes. And here they come, you know, and I mean, lights going everywhere. And, uh, and then they go down and get in front of a judge's panel and mm -hmm. do a little dance or whatever they do. But there was also one, one, um, uh, float that was called Los Volumnos. Mm -hmm. And every woman on there was, <laughs> had, to, had to weigh 250. <laughs> Voluptuous. Vol Voluminous. Voluminous. <laughs> and everybody, everybody. How every wonderful is uh, that? No. It, it, so, okay. So here's another deal. So next, there, this deal, they've got stands. Uh -huh. And you can get in those stands and watch the parade. And sitting next to us the second night was this little girl, uh, Yenia. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Yenia is, uh, her dad was an English teacher, mm -hmm. and the dad and her boyfriend and her. And we got to talking. And so she was explaining things to us. She says, everybody waits for Los Voluminos. Really? Everybody's waiting for that to come by. Because they <laughs> love, they love, because they get down there, and their deal is not dancing. Their deal is shaking the truck shaking the trailer. Oh my gosh. And I mean, they get this thing to rock it. <laughs> All these women and sweat. Oh my God. I mean, it's hot. Hot? Uh-huh. I've lived in hot all my life. Yeah. But not really. It's yeah, hot. Yeah, really? No, it's hot. Oh my it is gosh. so hot down there. I mean, it is hot. <laughs> it's, of course, you're close to the equator. You know, you're right. not far from the equator. But uh, uh, so, so anyway, Yenia is going to college. She's mm -hmm. 20 years old or something. And then she's a, she's an instructor at the college because we keep, we talk right. by messenger. Oh, that's so neat. And now she's going to be a, a tour director. Mm -hmm. She's going to have her own little oh, wow. tourist tour guide thing. And so we're talking about going back. Are you really? And hanging out with her uh, this coming July. And then, and then we're going to, go to Havana mm -hmm. and get with see these the, girls. See the, see the ballerinas. See the ballerinas and the friends we've made over there. Well, I want to segue, let's segue then into the, into talking about the ballerinas, but I definitely want to talk, um, you know, more about the Cuban culture too. Okay. Just in general, or some things that surprised you about Cuba and maybe what our listeners, you know, would find of, of interest like the embassy wasn't open in 2008 but I think an embassy opened in 2015 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so all right so so tell me about these girls and the so, dance so we've we've been down there three times with with uh, mm -hmm. Resnick and the fourth time we went down to, to take some photographs of a lady who was in a a, a competitive dance uh, mm -hmm. competition and we were there for two weeks, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe actually longer than that. Uh, so the competition was first week, and then the second week we were on our own. Mm -hmm. So we, we stayed in this Casa Particulares, which is, if mm -hmm. you, you can have um, uh, an apartment or something like that that you can rent out to people. Mm -hmm. So we stayed in a couple of those. And the second time, 
uh, Dooney, who was up here for the the opening, mm -hmm. it was his place we stayed. Wow. And now he's he's a travel guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he takes people from universities mm -hmm. and uh, museums and and Denny's well connected in Havana and mm -hmm. he knows a lot of people. And so, but anyway, he didn't, he did not know Mercy and Patricia. Mm -hmm. But so. And they're was, Cuban ballerinas. These, both these girls dance mm -hmm. with the National Ballet Company of Cuba. Oh, wow. No, no, the, these are, yes. Mercy is, uh, has been dancing for 17 years with them. Wow. And, and Patricia four. So anyway, we, this uh, gal, Migdalia, mm -hmm. who is a uh, tour guide and a fixer for Lauren Resnick's group. Mm -hmm. So she's the one that right. opens doors and gets, mm -hmm. you know. Right. So we've become very good friends with her, and she is just the coolest gal. And so uh, I called her, and I said, I want to take photographs. Number one, I want to take photographs in a in an antique house. Okay. Just, you know, just be able to take, do that. Right. Because of the, the, I know the house is amazing. It's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. So, uh, Lauren had started adding things to his repertoire. You know, you uh -huh. got to keep changing things up. Yes. And one of the things he did was this shooting ballerinas in this house. Mm -hmm. But he'd have 15 or 16 people and maybe, I don't know, five to eight ballerinas. Mm -hmm. So everybody, they're running all over the place, you know, mm -hmm. and and it's kind of like, now I'm, I don't, I wouldn't function in a, in a deal like that. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I could do it, but I want to, you know, I want it to be slow moving and mm -hmm. le no distractions right. and get into get into mm -hmm. the play. Right. And uh, so anyway, I called McDaniel and I says, "Do you think you could arrange that?" She said. Saturday morning. Wow. So Saturday morning, nine o'clock, we show up at Josie Alonso's house. Uh -huh. And this is, you can tell, a fancy house. Wow. It was built in the 30s. Mm -hmm. And now it's just, you know, it's still got, I mean, if you look at all this stuff right here, uh, you couldn't put that in your house. I was going to say, it almost looks like a set. It's so yeah. beautiful. And and then and yet the paint is flicking mm -hmm. off. Right, and, exactly. Know. And so it, it, it just lent itself to mm -hmm. this elegance of uh, grace and poise mm -hmm. against the destructive mm -hmm. things that happen over the years. Right. And if those walls could talk yes. about what has happened to Josie mm -hmm. Alonzo, during that time when the revolution came and right. all those things. So anyway, so these two show up and we don't know them. We don't, mm -hmm. we don't know anybody. Right. But before it's over with, I mean, I tell you, <clears throat> I had on a pair of shorts and a little old fishing shirt. Mm -hmm. And before it was over with, my clothes were dripping. The intensity of what we were doing was oh, just wow. almost overwhelming to me. Yes. I've never had that happen. That's so <laughs> Never <laughs> seriously, what's wrong with you? I said, I don't know. Oh. I just I just gotta get this. I Thank got you to so get much this. for sharing that. Yeah. That's so it's amazing. These two, you know, they they're just they're quite some people. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we were putting this thing together, I kept saying well, we ought to do this and this this and Jared mm -hmm. say this this it. and I said you know there's a lot of these ballerinas in these pictures mm -hmm. I said I wonder what would happen if we could get them to come up here for the grand opening mm -hmm. of the exhibit so let me ask you something very quickly did yeah. you know this so you were in Cuba in 20 this particular shot 16. was taken in 2016 mm -hmm. okay January. and that was your third that's your third fourth time. time oh fourth time thank mm -hmm. you very much mm -hmm. So your fourth time coming to Cuba, mm. did you already know that the Nave wanted to feature these no, no, photographs? No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. We we've just been gathering. We're mm -hmm. we're gatherers. <laughs> we are. As we're photographers are. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, no, that was January. We were not asked until June. Mm -hmm. June. And so then then it's kind of like, 
Well, that's a long way off. We got plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so so then it's kind of like, yeah, maybe we ought to start putting some stuff, stuff together. together. You know, yes. of course, we had done that that uh, gallery show down at uh, the Rockport Art uh -huh. Center. Yes. And uh, uh, so we had stuff from that, and but we wanted to add certainly add fresh stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it's just remarkable how you can you can go to a place and. I'll take serendipity just about mm -hmm. any time it can show up. Right. Because that's that's what's really, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's some luck involved. Yes. And, you know, I don't know if you saw a picture of the, the fisherman with the wave oh, covering I him up. Oh, I love that photograph. Well, I mean, we were walking back to our hotel and, and everybody had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so we stopped at this little beer joint. It was uh -huh. just, it was just a little open air place. Mm -hmm. But they had a bathroom, so we stopped and bought a beer, and we're sitting there. Mm -hmm. And I'm watching these two guys across the street of the Malacon, and uh, that one guy was up on the, on the side, and the waves were just crashing. I said, holy moly, look at this. That's awesome. And I just nailed it, you know. Yep. It just happened at the right time. How many photographs do you think you took? Down there? Mm-hmm. Oh, 30,000. Photographs. Mm -hmm. Twenty-five to thirty thousand photographs. Mm -hmm. That's every time. Every time you've been. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about Cuba. Tell me some things that most people don't know. What some most people that surprise you? What? Well, what? Um, I don't think it surprised me. It. it uh, was probably encouraging in the fact that <clears throat> they're just like you and me. Mm -hmm. They're just like us. They have different ways of doing things. Um, but the people we've met have, you know, they've just all been been nice as they can be and mm -hmm. as welcoming as they can be. And they just got caught up in, mm -hmm. in uh, I mean, the things that they've been through. And that's that's one of the things that I like about Cuba is it is um, it shows the resilience of people. Yes. You know we we don't want for much up here, mm -hmm. and I'm talking about the very poorest. Right. You know we can always find a meal. We, you know they mm -hmm. can. There's help for most people. And uh, but down there, I mean, they, it's 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 bleak, but they make do. Mm -hmm. They just make do, and you can see that in all those old cars. I mean, mm -hmm. those old cars. That that one I've got uh, at the nave, uh, the 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 grand the, of just the emblem. The no 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 oh. the, the 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 decaying building. Mm -hmm. And this uh, pristine '57 Chevrolet. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, and they don't have control over that building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't have what it takes to do fix that building. Mm -hmm. But by golly, they got they can do this with mm -hmm. with that car. Mm -hmm. And 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 they can make more money driving that car than a doctor can make mm -hmm. in a month. Well, we were just having this conversation about the ballerinas and about the arts and, you mm -hmm. know, the literacy rate, like 99.8% mm -hmm. literacy mm -hmm. rate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, they're well educated, and, but sometimes mm -hmm. I think, I mean, that's one of the things Castro would do would he'd send out his doctors to other countries, mm -hmm. pay them $30 a month. reading about that, yeah. And then they would pay mm -hmm. Castro a hell of a lot more than that. Yeah. Now I don't know the, all the facts about that, but right. but I I, I just uh, uh, believe that's the way it is. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I, I just I just believe there's larceny in some you, some people's hearts. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you visit with the people and you know their culture and mm -hmm. you've heard their stories. Mm -hmm. Um, and and will you continue to go back? Oh yeah, like I say, we may we may mm -hmm. go back in July. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just an interesting place. It's uh, uh, there's there's a lot there's there's just a lot of energy in the air, mm -hmm. you know. 
You go down. I mean, just walking the streets. Uh, They're far less suppressed than ha how I had imagined them. Well, if you go, yeah, but you go to Santiago, mm -hmm. it's pretty. It's Mm -hmm. it, I, meant, I meant in the dictatorship oh. aspect, oh. like, you know, there's ballets and there's music and there's art and there's culture. And for some reason, just in my mind, I envisioned Cuba not, years not, ago. You yeah, know, yeah. I've, oh, I've years grown ago and it was, become more yeah. educated. But see, but, this deal right here mm -hmm. is, is, uh, sin, is, is the face of Cuba. So anything that's got the face of Cuba is going to be... Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to really be good. Right. Do you... Like, like any, we'd all do that. Right. We'd all do that. No, for sure, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. Do you remember some of the quirky stuff about Cuba? Like, I was told that Coca-Cola is not sold in Cuba. I don't know. I don't know about Coca-Cola. I, I don't drink Coca-Cola, so I'm not... Mm -hmm. and, and they do sell beer, and I mm -hmm. saw that. <laughs> you saw that? Crystal. <laughs> Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Bucanera. Ah, <laughs> oh, and then yeah. okay, tell me about cigars because we had this conversation, producer Michael. We were going, we were debating whether we should um, light up, light a C Cuban cigar. But we we both decided that we can't stand the way that I they can't taste. Stand it. And, and of course, it would give you. A, you know, <laughs> yeah, wrong, you know. <laughs> that would make yeah. for a really interesting. No, I just, I, I'm not. Okay, this is my <laughs> guest, <laughs> buddy. Please. God, what was in there before? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What did you do last week? <laughs> yeah. Oh my uh, gosh. Well, we we did go to Vinales and yeah. we went to the t tobacco farms and we saw mm -hmm. the guys, you know, doing doing cigars oh. and all that. And then we went to um, Portagas, which Portagas. is behind behind the Capitolio, um, mm -hmm. uh, which is a cool little cigar store. And I mean, um, did and, you hear? Did I tell you? I told you the story right about JFK. Yes, buying, yes. buying like over a thousand yeah. Cuban cigars oh, yeah. before oh, yeah. he. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's just. Yeah. Just. I mean, come on. He knew the night before sure. what he was doing. He yeah. planned ahead. He, he got, sold his stock. He got over a thousand. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> he sold his stock. That's what he did. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Of all of the places that you've traveled, and tell me some more. I know you've been to Ireland. Yeah. Yes. You know what was interesting about Ireland, as opposed to Cuba. I didn't feel the same the same way. Yeah. And uh, it dawned on me. <laughs> this is so funny. It dawned on me. Well, for God's sakes, these are my people. <laughs> I'm Irish. I mean, <laughs> you know, it's just. Yeah. Well, of course, I ought to feel at home. Uh, uh, Ireland is a is a, is has four million people on it. Yeah. And if you think about. Mm -hmm all the influence that the Irish have had on this country mm -hmm. from that tiny little country. Yes. It's amazing. Yeah. But they're doers. Yeah. They get it done. Mm -hmm. They're persistent. Mm -hmm. And Cubans? Oh, absolutely the same. Yeah. The yeah. same. Resourceful and resilient. Yeah. yeah. And of course, you know, South America's always had dictators, conquistadors, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all that business. But I mean, the Irish, the Irish were probably the first slaves sent over here mm -hmm. because the the British didn't like them. Right. And they were just, they were trying to get rid of them. Where in the world would you go if you if money was no object and you could go tomorrow and it would be a photography, you know, assignment, traveling, uh, you know, travel photography, where would you go? It has to be a place you've never been. Oh, I, uh, we have been to Italy, at Greece, yes. Italy and Greece. Italy and Greece. And Spain. And but will you continue to go back to Cuba? I know you said you're going yeah, into Yeah, because we back? we're you know it's kind of like, and y'all listen to me out there. <laughs> when doors open, walk through them, mm -hmm. see what's on the other side. These little girls right here have opened more mm -hmm. doors for us. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't you go right. back if you could make some more gorgeous? Mm -hmm. photos, photos yeah. and can I ask you too do you feel that um, this might be a little bit too political but do you feel that it won't be long before Cuba is westernized and we're gonna lose like how long before they lose some how long before a fast food chain oh I don't I, I don't know um, 
I bet it'll be over ten years. It'll be ten. So years. we've got some time. Yeah. I yeah. wanted you to say that's going to happen by the summer because I'm really, I'm really wanting to go. So <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see, I just want to see Cuba, like in the, going to, <clears throat> going to look at your exhibit, you know, no, number one, I love that you're so connected to people because I understand that because there are so many different genres of photography, but nothing to me is more beautiful than, um, the human face, mm -hmm. any face of mm -hmm. any color, any size, mm -hmm. any shape. Yeah, yeah. And you did such a remarkable job, I felt, you know, capturing p the people. Mm -hmm. I, I've, I've seen the cars. I mean, I think the cars are beautiful. Yeah. I, I love the buildings. I, I love that, um, just that antique mm -hmm. look about the um, architecture, but I, I really loved the people. And uh, so yeah. that was something that just, I mean, you did an exceptional we, job. Oh, <laughs> you're making me blush. <laughs> uh, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. I mean, we've got, uh, I, when you were saying that, that we <clears throat> were in Trinidad, and there was a guy, there was a barbershop right here, and a guy in our group was getting his hair cut, and everybody was taking pictures, and blah, blah, blah. And right down the street, there was a guy sitting in his window with his daughter, and this little girl was an angel. Mm -hmm. And we sat there, and, t and I, she's not even in the show. Mm -hmm. But we took pictures of that little girl, and I mean, tell you, it, we took the 200 pictures of that little girl. Wow. And, you, you know, what, what Lauren says, and he's right, when you point a camera at somebody, what do they do? Mm -hmm. Smile. Well, that's just fake as it can be. Mm -hmm. I mean, it... it it is, but it isn't. You know, right, so right. it may, maybe, but if you really want to get to the emotional aspect of somebody, you got to keep going until they're tired of you, mm -hmm. and then they'll give you who they are. Oh my gosh, what a brilliant thing to say, mm -hmm. huh? And that's the kind of photographs I mm -hmm. want to take. I want to take photographs that are of people who give you who they are. Right. And that's that ain't that ain't easy. <laughs> there are two Russian photographers that I follow on Facebook, and I don't. I'm drawn. I'm drawn to to their lighting, and uh, one of the things that's always said about uh, uh, having a good photograph is is um, uh, the casting. Mm -hmm. You 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 have to look for, you know, a, a, an interesting face. Mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway, these two Russian photographers. I mean, they they can they they first of all, they're Russian models that they're shooting, mm -hmm. and they're they're absolutely drop dead gorgeous girls. But the the looks he pulls out of them, mm -hmm. I don't know how he does that. <laughs> And that's yeah, I, I, that's the thing I will, I want to as I and I'm you know I, I call it I'm in my fourth I'm, I'm start my fourth quarter <laughs> <laughs> and and in this fourth quarter I really want to do I really uh, want to do do things like that I, I really want to make gorgeous photographs of people and, and not yeah it, not I don't mean glamour gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I just mean the essence mm -hmm. uh, of somebody. I thought you did a remarkable job with this exhibit. Well, thank you, but I'm not through. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm what is through. next for you? I don't know, but w when you said that, see, this is this is Patricia. Right. And that little girl. Four years. She stands for four yeah. years. She's 21. And she is uh, a giddy little girl. Mm-hmm. Just giddy. Jared took them to, after that whole week, mm -hmm. and I mean, we shot for eight hours on mm -hmm. Saturday. They modeled wow. for eight hours on Saturday. And then Sunday, she took them to uh, San Marcos to the outlet mall. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so you, And so yes. when, <laughs> when Patricia got back in the car, she says, I love to shop. <laughs> but I mean, she's a little giddy little girl, okay? Yes. But I want to tell you, mister, when that girl strikes a pose, 
and she gets mm -hmm. into an emotional state. Right. It it, it just knocks you to your knees. Wow. And those are the kind of things that mm -hmm. really feed my soul. I, mm -hmm. I can't tell you why, but it does. That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. Is there anything that you wanted to say that we didn't cover? Well, uh, the exhibit will be up till Sunday. Yes, yes. And <laughs> so Justine, check it out. I promise I will bring this back, Justine, tomorrow before the nave opens its in doors at noon. In pristine condition. <laughs> in Bristol condition. <laughs> in Bristol condition. That's right. That's well, right. thank you so much. Well, you're for welcome. Coming. This I, I really enjoyed yeah, that. It was yeah, nice. Yeah, it, was, it was. I'm less nervous. How are you? Oh, you doing I'm fine. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, I do want to talk about, so you've got, so we've got Impressions of Cuba yep. until, um, until April Sunday. 23rd, mm -hmm. yeah, until Sunday, yep. and then coming up, the Museum of the Coastal Bend, the LaBelle Interpretive Exhibit, that's opening, um, let's see, April the 18th at 5 p.m., and then there's a CASA um, volunteer training, you know, about the court appointed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's a great, Advocates. Yes, great, or that's great it. That's organization. Right. And that's kind of what we have, um, you know, coming up for the weekend. Again, thank you for coming. Thank you for all, with all of my heart for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> that was awesome.